This week on The Choice. We're going to the island, Vancouver Island, with Trophy West, spotting and stalking black bears. I can see him, I can see him. Look at that. Big, big front pads. He, and he's got big claws. Claws, yeah. Really big claws. Oh, big. Yep, look at him. What do you say? What a hunt. That was unbelievable. This is a beautiful bear. Hey, welcome to this week's The Choice. Yeah, and this week, well, we're going to the island, Vancouver Island, with Trophy West. And I'm gonna tell you something, one of our favorite hunts of all time every year, because you're on the island and you're spotting and stalking black bears. Yeah, and when we're spotting and stalking, I mean, we drive around and I eat said. glass, and then you do some spotting and stalking, and you get up on them, and you know what? I mean, we always have so much fun up there. Yes, we are. We do, I mean, with everyone up there, Glenn and Jeff and Ken and Shannon and, and all of them. Yep. Right? And what are we doing? We're going black bear hunting, so let's just go. We're spotting and stalking. Let's go. What I on Vancouver Island, in BC, with Trophy West. Hey, it's our first morning here at Trophy West Outfitters, Guides and Outfitters in British Columbia. We are gonna go just double check our guns, make sure our brownings are on point, and uh, make sure we're ready to go. The gun's all out of whack here. So how much was it off by there, Vicky? Oh, Ralph, did you fix that for you? It was all off by quite a bit, eh? It was not. It was perfect, dead center. Let's see if you oh, can do any better. Geez. How many shells you got, Ralph? You need another box? Um, I, gave <laughs> half a box. I gave him half a box. He's like, huh? Do you guys want to keep these? Shoot. Time out. Okay. What? What's wrong? So Vicky shoots perfect. That's normal. Oh God, Ralph, something. Do you guys want to keep these? Where's my clip? Uh, no, they go right in the bucket. Someone... Just over there. That's okay. for the brass bucket. Someone stole his clip. I hope. I hope You're like that. Is there enough room left in that brass bucket? For <laughs> You're such a. Okay, you are one. so much like your father. It's not even <laughs> funny. I go to get and I'm looking, and the first thing I knew, because here at Trophy West, you always have to be prepared because these guys are gonna bust your gonads all the time. <laughs> Yeah, great, and sure great enough, way to sell the hunt, yeah, honey. Oh yeah. yeah, that's awesome. It's, it's, it's like family. We love them. And, and I mean, I looked at my gun, and this and was And they're giving them a hard time, because I just went and made sure my gun is on. One oh. shot, I am dead on. Wait, now, we'll I see how much Ralph has to. It's a magazine. It's a magazine. It's a magazine. What was I thinking? Get it going. I All know. I know is I'm, I'm in. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Hey, everybody, we're all shooting. Oh, no. <laughs> you can see an animal. <laughs> Yep. No. When he really screwed it was down in down in my waist. Well, he's got a long gun. Where's the bullet chamber? Yeah. Okay. Let's see where we're at. All over the paper. Wait, right. Dead even. Uh, right three inches. Inch? Yeah, that's all. Just an inch. Try another one? Yeah. Ooh, perfect. Absolutely. 
absolutely dead on. We, uh, we look forward to this week every year when Ralph and Vicky come up and uh, join us. It's, uh, it's always a lot of fun. We have a lot of laughs and, and we have a really good time. With RJ graduating from high school this year, Ralph and Vicky um, hunt dates were pushed back a few weeks. And we're going through a bit of a transition from our big bears from feeding heavily. Um, now they're starting to rut and uh, showing some good rut activity and it should make for an exciting week. As the day progressed, the temperatures became quite hot. Uh, the movement slowed right down. We did see a few bears, a sow and two cubs, and then uh, we actually got a stock on one, a nice boar that was wandering the uh, logging road. nice little boar but we you know we definitely saw you know Jeff was we're driving we definitely located you know where these bears are hanging and we're just probably you could see we still got a lot of snow up here the it's really brown so those bears are starting to slowly work their way up but they're like on that second tier huh yeah they're coming out of the second rope and using the lower level slashes we're just trying to get up high to look back down. Yeah. Bump into this guy. Yeah, so you seize the moment. We seized it. Hey, we saw our first bear. It is warm outside. It is quarter to four on the first day up here. And um, it's been hot. It's, we finally have some cloud cover, so the sun is not killing us. It was close to 90 degrees when that sun was out. We didn't expect to see anything until later. That's good we see a bear though. That's, that's We've seen lots of bear crap, just no bears. Exactly. So they gotta be here. Oh, yeah, we'll... That's pretty right. unreal, Freddy, that you even spotted that thing. Look at that. We're driving around and Freddy spots a morel while we're in BC. Now we've hunted here a whole bunch and never seen them. No. And it's easy enough to tell if it's a real or a fake. It's a real, it's hollow inside. So we could actually take these back. Yeah, let's take them. We could take them back and have, whoop, as I drop both my phone and the morel. We can take them back and. Sweet. Yeah. We'll tell Shannon to fry them up for us. Yeah. Good That's good. We should look for more. So Freddy. First time Freddy's in BC here hunting with yep. you guys with Trophy West and out here filming with us. He's finding more piles of bear poop than we are, and he spotted morels well, as we're driving by. We're too busy talking. We are too busy talking. <laughs> Thanks, Freddy, for catching that. That's so. That's pretty How sweet. did you see that? I have no idea how you I mean, actually I seen this. I seriously have no idea how you spotted that. I That's... have not seen one in over 40 years. 
This That's is crazy. Cool. Good job, Freddy. Way to go, Freddy. That's insane. I can't believe it. That's a nice boar. Big old scar on his face. There's probably not a way, Ken, huh, with the way the wind's blowing? No, no. There's no way we can get to him. He's gonna he's gonna head into that timber. And the only the only reason we he has not smelt us yet is because of the distance. He's gonna wind us here pretty He well. has got a knock on his head. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna chew on some grass. Yeah, there's no way he would see us no matter what we did and our wind would be bad. Yeah. So what we do is we've been driving around, get to vantage point so you can glass this whole slash and you can see there's some green stuff coming up. We just spotted a really nice boar just right down here below us. Unfortunately, the wind is in our favor and there's no other way to really get around to him. But it just means, you know what, we've seen a good bear. Well, like you just said, Ken, we'll just go ahead and, you know, we know that he's in this area. We'll save him for, we'll save, we'll save him for another day and, and maybe another opportunity been pretty warm and what with the bears that we saw the very first day we saw a few of them quite a few of them actually but the thing is is that we seem to be bumping them they were on the road and taking off and not much time to get a camera up and out we got it set up in an area ken we had seen a sow and a boar and ken said you know what even though they went down the timber let's get set up here and that's exactly what we did well it's about three o'clock in the afternoon it's another warm day uh up here on the top of the mountains, it's definitely a little cooler, a little breeze. The bears, they aren't moving a whole bunch today. We have, we've seen one bear, just for a brief moment again. Um, but we're glassing, they gotta start moving, we know they are. We're actually, we're probably in pre-rut rut right now, so we just gotta find the sows and find the boars that are chasing them. But, it's a lot of land to have to look for them in. <laughs> we'll find them, I got no worries. We watched him come out and start walking through the planted cedars. And we watched him walking around, keep looking, kind of looking around. He lost a sow, he's looking for her. We just held tight and sat there and waited. We watched him come back up and around and he came in and finally he came out in front of me and gave me a perfect shot. Oh my gosh. Vicki, what a bear. Thank right you. up there. Thank you. Oh Beautiful my gosh. Bear. What a story. He's down on the ground right there. Oh crap. We got a beautiful bear over there. So oh, we got go a look. great bear. Let's go see him. Great bear. Don't, don't fall, okay? And he just spun around. That was that dust storm that I was trying to get. Yeah, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Oh, what a story. What oh my a gosh, how beautiful. Look at the size of them pads and that head. Holy cow. Oh, Look at the head on that thing. Look at him. Oh my lord. He's, he's, a, he's got scars all over his face. Yeah, all down his nose, oh. through the look eyes. The his ears. Oh, he's a, look at the head on him. What a beautiful bear. You know what, this is yeah, that. Trophy West. These, we had two good big boars oh, yeah. within a boars. couple hours of each other in the yeah. same spot because there was one hot sow. Yeah, one hot sow. That's what did it. Oh my and, gosh. Uh, Trophy what West. What a toad. So we go. do, hey, it's day two. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Wow. Well, that was awesome. We hit, we weren't seeing anything today. And then uh, Ralph and Jeff, they were like, oh, we've seen eight already. Blah, 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 blah. And we're like, okay, we saw one. Yeah, we at that time we but, had seen one. But then, now... It doesn't matter because now matter. we have one down. So yeah, exactly. We, and he's not far from the road because of where we were at. So look at that. It'll per be an easy, perfect shot. Perfect. You took the lungs and everything completely out of him. Oh my gosh! What a bear! Wow. You know what? I think he was even like maybe sitting in water. Cause look at the feel him. Yep. He was like well, laying in the swamp. They will. They'll lay their butts down and they'll even eat the willow trees while they're laying in the water, like wet. with their butt. Yep. 
big yeah. front pads. He, and he's got big claws. claws yeah. Really big claws. That was the epitome of a hunt. That was awesome. You, it, you, it was you, awesome. You, had, you witnessed everything. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, how it all went down, we watched him. I mean, he was knocking over bushes and he's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. He lost a sow. He's looking for her bad. And yeah, well, you know, he stepped where he shouldn't have stepped. And I, I think, bang, guys, my browning. Be aware. Boom. Take a note. Write this down. Put it on your phone. Put it on your iPad. The women will always get you in trouble. Why would you say that? We're like perfect angels all the time. I'm just saying. It's always great to help have Ralph and Vicki and Cap here. They come here every year and they came a week later this year than normal because of RJ's graduation. Uh, I had Vicky as normal, and Jeffrey had Ralph as normal. Yeah, it, it's so great having them here at this time of year because they've never got to actually see this time of year how green everything is. Um, being here earlier, it's a lot browner, it's a little cooler, the weather's been fantastic, a little warm. The evenings have been great and it's good having them here to see this part of the rut and the hunt. So we spotted this bear in about five o'clock in the evening and uh, it was down in the, the cedars with the sow. And at some point the sow got separated from this boar and um, we got set up and I thought the boar might come back out. And we waited patiently and the boar appeared and Vicky made a great shot. Um, it tumbled over backwards, which <laughs> what a dust storm. And uh, we like them to keep shooting until that bear is on the ground and it went off the road and she let another shot go and the bear just collapsed and it was over. Oh Look at the head on that thing. Look at him. Oh my lord. He's, he's, a, he's got scars all over his face. Yeah, all down his nose, through the Look eyes. The his ears. Oh, he's a, look at the head on him. What a beautiful bear. Trophy what a, West. What a toad. So we do, hey, it's day two. Not bad, huh? <laughs> wow. Wow. That was awesome. We hit, we weren't seeing anything today. And then uh, Ralph and Jeff, they were like, oh, we've seen eight already. But then, now it doesn't matter because now matter. we have one down. Yep, so exactly. We, we got some big claws on him. Look at that. Big, big front pads. He, and he's got big claws. claws yeah. Really big claws. Congratulations. You're welcome. Everybody. What a day. That's awesome. Three bears one day. Yeah. yeah Vicky, congratulations, huh? Vicky. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good job. See what you started hey, today? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. You got that first one knocked out? Yeah. Hey, thank hey, you very much. Good girl. Right here. Good girl. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks. Joyous moment. Work. Yeah, work. yeah, absolutely. Day two, we're done. We give you a token of our appreciation. So on behalf of Trophy West Vicky, I would like to present you with the Golden Bear. Thank you. Oh Thank, you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Great shoot. The Golden Bear. That's awesome. Well, I'm going to go ahead and keep everybody's attention. <laughs> we had ourselves a day here. Greg, it's been short and sweet. Yes, sir. Long standing <laughs> tradition of Trophy West, as Ken was saying. But I have for you a Golden Bear. Congratulations on a fantastic time. Thank you. Awesome. There you are. Good job. That's what it's all about.
Congratulations, that it, was so cool. It was kind of crazy how it all worked. I mean, we watched him, he lost his sow, he went down trying to find her, and he, he came back up and was like, all right, well, you shouldn't have walked there. Well, I, I just think it proves that, that you know us guys gotta be, beware because those women will put you in danger <laughs> every single time. I have no comment for that because you're right and you should watch out for me. I'm just saying, hey, thanks for making your choice. The choice. <laughs> hey. Choose wisely. Hey. Do, you, do you want to go hunting with me?